They came out first possession, did not look sped up by Rutgers' defensive pressure on that play. It's the blue-collar approach here for Illinois. They don't have a lot of wins here in this, in this season. Underneath the basket look for Takiya Mack. She is one of the most emotional players that you'll find. Hey, you talked about the range, Christy. Diamond Johnson dialing it up early. Garantes inside the paint, the little turnaround, and she's got four of the Rutgers' first seven points. Caitlin Clark and her ability to flat out score the ball. Diamond Johnson needs to be in that conversation as well as a freshman. And that's where Illinois is going to get in trouble. The turnover leading for the touchdown, so to speak. Garantes with the easy lay-in. And Rutgers, they want you to rush your choices, whether you're shooting it or passing it. Peebles got hit on the three-point make. A four-point opportunity. It's a trickle-down effect. You see that in your teammate, it makes you go even harder. Here's Johnson. Deep, deep territory for Diamond. And people knowing that you can do that. Opponents know that she can take that shot and make that shot. And she has sustained that. It's an and one there for Rubin and Illinois. Five second differential between shot and game clock. Trouble here. Three seconds on the shot clock. You gotta throw it up. Singleton was waiting. Boy, was she waiting. She is just all over the place at shooting practice today. See, Vivian Stringer said, I think we need to have five Takiya Max on the floor in terms of the energy that she provides to the team. And Nancy Fay really calling the Terrapins what she believes the best team in the Big Ten here right now. Johnson can do a little bit of everything. She's got all kinds of shots in her arsenal. Scramble again. Offensive rebounding has been huge for the Scarlet Knights as well. Another opportunity. Pulling and firing for three. Zakia Mack was waiting for it because she could do that. It's Mack's first three-point make of this game and the fourth for Rutgers. Absolutely. There's a fine line between being confident and arrogant. And he said that she wants to be coached, and that is the biggest difference maker. And we want you to be a pro in life. And I just, I wrote that down. I'm keeping that and tucking it away because he was preaching to us this morning. Singleton with the bucket. And associate head coach Tim Eatman, we had a chance to catch up with him today, and he said that, you know, she has been different in her approach to practice. Keep their jobs. They're not going to let some rookie come in and, and take their spot. They want to eat, too, is what he said. And I think that's just speaks to what she's been doing today. Oh, an hour and a half, sometimes two-hour long shoot-arounds. If I can survive those kind of things in the build-up to possibly being a WNBA player and no extracurricular activity as well, and the, the bucket counts for Garantes. The three look that time. It's her third three-point make here for Diamond Johnson. A short change her. That's four three-point makes here in this game as they drop it off to Singleton. Back-to-back -back buckets. Just like that, Rutgers can score quickly. Hey, they apply their defensive pressure. Another steal. Two steals here in this game. And Garantes gets the easy two. Now with seven on the shot clock. Johnson, here's where she's good. Shuffle pass to Singleton. I mean, it's what Coach Nancy Faye told us. Hey, we can complain about it or do something about it. And what they need to do is just continue to chop the tree like that. Stay aggressive. The different kind of dimension for Illinois this year versus last year. It always changes the dynamic of the team and you have a, a post in there who can go to work. And her third straight 20-point game. She also has seven boards and two assists to go along with that, as well as two steals. Absolutely, and I love June Olkowski. So June, if you're watching, I love you too. I, you know, just the, the smiling faces that you have in the recruiting process. Look at what the post defense did in terms of making it tough for someone as talented like Mackenzie Holmes, who went one of 16 in that game. There's a transition look and a bucket there for Guillaume. And the Scarlet Knights will dribble it out.
Well, it was a retro day in the throwback jerseys to honor the 82 national championship team.